I first got into music from uh, the skateboarding scene. I grew up, I didn't play music much early as a child or anything. I just was super into skateboarding. And then later in life, um, Nirvana was the first band that made me want to play guitar. I saved up in Little Lawns all summer, bought a guitar, and uh, learned like every song off of Nirvana's Nevermind and never looked back. Uh, I came from a small town. I played sports, so it was kind of a jock, but. Um, Nobody really played guitar or anything like that in my area, so I didn't have anything to like kind of learn on or anything like that. But the second that I got to college, I realized, man, this is kind of hard. If I wasn't a musician, I would probably be uh, a carpenter. I, uh, my father's a contractor and my uncle's a contractor, and growing up, um, as soon as I was old enough that I could have got a job at McDonald's or something like that, uh, my father immediately said, okay, you want money for school clothes, you're coming to work with me in the summer. I was never a big fan of like learning covers or learning other people's songs. I like to just grab a guitar and figure out what sounded good to me. So my advice would be, if you want to be a songwriter and you want to be in your own band, don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't be afraid to uh, take a great piece of gear like this and just try every knob and play around with it and uh, make your own sound and do your own thing. I think some of the greatest bands of our generation or ever weren't trying to copy other things at the time. They were just trying to come up with the sounds in their head and make it reality. I've been playing the HT50 Mark II uh, all throughout Warp Tour. I've been playing it for a while. Sounds great. I've been playing the HT Stage 100 Mark II and I love it. I've played a lot of amps over the years in the studio and live, and in particular live, we use a lot of high gain live, but I'm not a fan of kind of that oversaturated, scooped high gain sound, and um, these heads have really shown me that you don't have to settle, you can get tone and still like, like good, kind of classic rocky tone, but in a high gain version. And I'm really, uh, really, really impressed with the, uh, the ISF switching. The way they have it set up is it's, uh, it takes your tone kind of from a more British setting to an American setting. So for me, I'm a big fan of the British sound, but I like a little bit of that kind of like modern American hard rock and uh, punch to it. So I can kind of scoop that in a little bit. It sounds awesome. Uh, depending on what the set is, I'll kind of definitely dive into uh, a couple songs in particular if there's some songs that we haven't played in a while. We uh, try not to keep it too stiff and you know treat it too professionally, I guess. And you know, getting these new amps couldn't be couldn't come at a better time. It's always great to have a new piece of gear to toy with. Always creates a new inspiration for you, and uh, we're ready to try and finish up our new full album. That's what we'll be working on the entire rest of the year.